Hi everyone. How's it going today? I hope you're all doing well and feeling good. It's always a pleasure to have you with me on my channel. As usual, I will discuss some topics that you might like. I understand that the quality of this video might not be the best, but I hope that the content is still understandable and informative. If you're interested in learning more, I also have a Telegram channel where I share various information that I can't post here. And make sure to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel in case of unforeseen events. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Americans have had a love affair with their televisions for decades. Most of us consume more than a thousand hours of programming each year, and the vast majority of that programming literally celebrates evil. Just think about it for a moment. When is the last time that you watched a program on television that focused on things that are noble, true, honest, pure and virtuous? From time to time, you can find a show like that, but most of the content on our televisions is full of garbage. And if you pour thousands of hours of garbage into the minds of the American people, you are going to get a demonic society, in which just about every form of wickedness that you can possibly imagine, is exploding all around us. For example, on our televisions, you can find endless content that features occult themes, and now, satanic displays are literally being set up in public spaces all around the nation. The sparkling demonic ram's head that was just set up in the Iowa State House is currently making headlines all over the nation. The Satanic Temple has set up a display of a sparkling demonic ram's head in the Iowa State House as an expression of religious freedom. Alongside more traditional menorahs and Christmas trees, the group have erected an altar topped with candles, a large banner, and a ram figure with a skull covered in mirrors, a red cloak and wreath. The temple reportedly went through all of the correct administrative channels for the display, and only had their original request to use a real goat skull denied. Of course, this isn't the first statehouse to feature such a display. Meanwhile, after-school Satan clubs continue to gain popularity all over the nation. This week, I came across an article about a chapter that is opening up right in the heart of the so-called Bible Belt. An after-school Satan club plans to begin offering activities to children at a Tennessee elementary school following Christmas break, officials said, and the move immediately proved controversial. The Satanic Temple plans to host the club at Chimurak Elementary School in Cordova, news outlets reported. It will begin meeting on January 10 in the school's library and run through the spring semester, according to an announcement Tuesday posted on social media. Needless to say, you don't have to actually take your children to such a club to expose them to satanic content. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you learned something. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell, so you won't miss any update. Finally, watch until the end to avoid any misunderstanding. Thank you. Sadly, reality often exceeds the horrors that our children see depicted on their screens. Child abuse has become a national pastime, and way too often, children that are being systematically abused end up dead. An Illinois boy was found beaten and starved at his home before he tragically died in hospital, had a sign on his bedroom door, read, Don't give Navin any food. Navin Jones, 8 years old, was found unresponsive in a skeletal and emaciated state at his Peoria home on March 29, 2022. His father now faces up to life in prison if convicted of first-degree murder, while his mom already pleaded guilty to the heinous crime. The little boy weighed just 30 pounds, and he was found in a locked room that was covered in urine and feces. He had signs of physical abuse across his face, body, arms, and legs. How can something like this happen? Well, the truth is that a demonic society produces demonic results. We wanted our lives to be like what we saw on television, and now it is really happening. We love to entertain ourselves with shows about crime, and now crime is out of control in much of the country. Organized gangs of thieves have become accustomed to taking whatever they want, but once in a while, they run into someone with a gun. This is the moment an elderly employee scared off a gang of robbers with a gun after they attempted to ransack his Bay Area store on Monday. Albert Marku faced down a group of would-be robbers with sledgehammers after they stormed the estate's consignment store in Pleasant Hill. 
Surveillance video shows an apparent coordinated attempt to rob the store, as a woman on the phone held the shop door open, allowing a group of men to run in. There is endless violence on our televisions too. And these days we are witnessing acts of violence that are almost too horrific to describe. A 46-year-old naked man, covered in blood, was reportedly on top of the body of his decapitated mother, when police arrived at the man's Jersey Shore apartment building. Jeffrey D. Surgeon called 911 on Friday afternoon, confessing he just killed his mother, according to NJ.com. Police arrived to find 74-year-old Alexandri M. Surgeon dead in her son's hallway. The victim's severed head was found a few feet away from where the surgeons were lying. What in the world has happened to us? We were once a city on a hill to the rest of the world, but now we have become a bad joke. Right now, we are in the midst of the worst drug crisis in our entire history, and things have gotten so bad that even elementary school children are consuming fentanyl in their gummy bears. Five elementary school students have received medical attention in Virginia after ingesting fentanyl-laced gummy bears, something that one of the children brought from their home, officials say. The incident happened Tuesday at Central Elementary School in Amherst, a town north of Lynchburg. The Amherst County Sheriff's Office said, seven students in total, experienced a reaction to ingesting gummy bears at school. Of course, those that are pushing legal drugs are often more demonic than those that are pushing illegal drugs. I could list a whole bunch more examples, but I think that you get the point. From the very top to the very bottom, our entire society has become saturated with evil. So, why can't we just stop what we are doing and start focusing on things that are good and righteous? Oh no, the elite certainly don't want us to do that. Recently, Dr. Anthony Fauci was asked why he doesn't go to church anymore, and he responded by saying that his personal ethics are enough to keep me going on the right path. During an interview with BBC News, Fauci pointed out Dahlgren Chapel of the Sacred Heart, where he and his wife were married in 1985. That gave rise to the question of whether he still attends church. No I don't, he said, which natural led to the follow-up question from interviewer Katie Kay. Why? A number of complicated reasons, he said, but Kay wasn't satisfied with that and encouraged him to go on. First of all, I think my own personal ethics on life are, I think, enough to keep me going on the right path, he said, adding that the organizational church had enough negative aspects, though he didn't clarify what enough meant in that context. Really? Our culture is going downhill very rapidly now. We live in an upside-down world, where good is bad, and bad is good. And those in power just want to keep us pacified with entertainment, so that they can continue to transform our society. If we stay on this path, there is no future for our country. Unfortunately, the clock is ticking, and right now there are no indications that we will see a national turnaround anytime soon. Now, it's time for me to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this video? If you found it interesting or informative, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing it with your friends and family. Remember, the more people know about these important topics, the better. Before we wrap up, I want to extend a huge thank you to all the individuals who dedicated their time and energy to research and gather the information presented in this video. Their efforts are truly commendable and have helped shed light on important topics that affect us all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to be notified when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.